So I'm going to discuss the immensely tragic way that a lot of people treat animals. Although we do not realize it, animals do have a voice which can't be heard. So my first topic is hunger and starvation. Um, I read a post not too long ago on CNN about a woman who left her apartment for two weeks to go to New York and left her dog inside the, I guess, the apartment starving. This dog went into all the cabinets and tried to grab like any cans and see cans that were like bitten through with his teeth. Like it was just crazy tragic. Like I almost cried. Um, I just think it's crazy. It's it's not it's not something that should ever ever occur. Not even anywhere in the world. Um, I feel, in my opinion, that dogs are somewhat like children. Dogs need the love and the care and attention that children need. They need that a sense of security. You know, a sense of loving and some somebody to be there. Um, these are just some images of hunger and starvation that some dogs have gone through. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I have a pet. I have a little English bulldog that I love and adore so much. So seeing um, you know images of this everywhere it just drives me nuts. It drives me insane. So I decided to put a hand out and help. So I want to talk about different types of animal cruelty, um, different different ways that people actually abuse their animals. Um, not only did I do so much research on dog, dog fighting, but I went to um, ALDF.org and I decided to donate money because they showed me this crazy video um, that I couldn't actually show because it's too long about um, a backyard that had 50 dogs, 50 pit bulls chained up to trees, chained up to dog fences and all left there with no food and no water, right? If these rescue people would not have gone, these, all of these dogs would have died, every single one of them. What many of them were, their faces were just like completely torn. Like this, this is one picture of it. Um, that dog is actually another picture that I got off of that site, ALDF.org. Um, it's just, it, it made me so sad. Um, so this is a picture of dog fighting when people actually do um, have their pit bulls or pit bulls are the main dogs that actually go fight. When they actually do have their dogs fight, their dogs fight till death. And even if they don't fight till death, I mean, if the owner has the heart to stop his dog before he dies, why would you even want your dog to live after that? Why would you even want your dog to go through the hurt and the tragic depression that it would go through after being abused so bad by another dog? Or would that dog even ever be able to fight again? Like, why would you ever even? Okay. After that, I want to talk about maintaining a healthy lifestyle for you and your dogs. So after I've gone over all of the crazy things that have happened, I kind of want to go on to an easy part because that is a little bit crazy. Maintaining a lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle for you and your dogs is as simple as giving your dog plenty of water. Your dog, plenty of water. I cannot stress on um, plenty of water. Um, food, love, loyalty, and respect because it goes both ways. Like I'm sure you guys have heard the quote, um, a best friend, a dog is always a man's best friend. Another way that you can help out is by avoiding Sea World, zoos, and circuses, and any type of amusement park that does accompany um, animal usage as um, what is this? Animal usage as uh, like entertainment. Right? I talked about before how Sea World San Diego has ten orcas and only seven million gallon of water habitat. Right? I got that off of San Diego Zoos. Dot info. Dot org. Um, that that is no no water compared to what they could have in the real in the real world. Why would we support something like that? Why would you actually go to SeaWorld and watch these orcas perform when they have nothing? They have nothing. They're completely taken away from their family. They 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 just perform daily, right? These panda bears are limited to so much room. They have nothing. They're why why would why would we support something like that? Prevent animals captivity by avoiding theme parks. This tiger looks so sad. I read on an article on CNN as well. Um, I don't remember who posted it, but I read that trainers are actually afraid to go inside the cages of tigers and lions and different kinds of cats because they're afraid they might attack. So a lot of these trainers just like kind of slide food in so that the, the animal can actually eat rather than this animal actually being able to be free and able to do what they want to do. I got this clip. I don't know if I can play it right here. It's about um, an actual. <laughs> Noticed, but you see the 
guy laughing. He was like laughing about messing with the, with the, the lion. Like who does that? You know, he's already captivated, already behind bars, can't help himself in any way, to, shape or form, and this man is just messing with him, just trying to get on his bad side and just be so ignorant to him, right? Or to her, to him, as that the girl like. I mean, that's what. <laughs> and it's just so irritating to me and it's frustrating because these animals are already being captivated as it is. Why are we trying to make it even worse than what it already is? On that note, join an organization and help prevent animal cruelty everywhere you go. So after I did um, the SeaWorld presentation that I did, I actually went to PETA, I think you pronounce it, and I went online and I actually joined um, a group that stops people from actually going to places such as um, SeaWorld and things like that. And I actually joined, I signed a petition, and that's available for all of you guys to do, and I do encourage you to do it because it is wrong. I don't feel like anybody should be able to go to any of these places. Um, there's many other organizations you can go. Animal Aid, you can actually sign up your own animals and have them come in and check up on them. Um, you can set up play dates with your animals also on Animal Aid. Um, the World Society for Protection of Animals. Our four-legged foundations, the Humane Society of the United, United States, Marine Conservation Society. There's many societies that you guys can get involved with to help prevent animal cruelty. Another one is ASPCA, the American Society for Prevention to Animal to Cruelty to Animals. Become a member, volunteer, or even donate <coughs> money to the organization to start helping to save these animals today. It is really important that we get involved and we help these animals because it is crazy and it is so inhumane. Join an organization, let your voice be heard. After all, only you can make a difference.